Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Bafco Research Consult. I am Bafco and I'm going to be your facilitator for today. Today we are going to talk about how to import and export data from R using R Studio. So when it gets to SPSS, SPSS, you need a package called Haven Package, a Haven Package. So if you've not installed it, you have to first install the package, open the package by using the library command, open the package. Then from there, you go on to use the read underscore SAV, read underscore SAV into bracket the file name. That is how you read. If you want to write a state file, write underscore the state um, the the data frame then you move on to give the name of the form same applies to stata with stata you are going to also it's going to also work with the haven package right haven package so you but that this time i'm going to read underscore dt read underscore dt that is for stata then the file name which will be in quotation and all of them will be in what a bucket if it is a test that one you have to use read dot table with test what you do is that if it's a test file a test file you have to first let the software know whether they are headers or not ah. so read the table then brackets open and close the file name header true if it's tab, tab separated if it's tab separated, then you add this to its slash t. It shows that it's tab separated. So if I want to do the same for if I want to do the same for file, I use this word the haven. Right. The haven. So you have to load all of them and we've done that already. Or better to you let's load them. So, read. So when you do that, we'll write that. It's also here now. Read underscores. Then we have what? The state of which has the instruction of DTA. So read a uh, write underscore DTA. Write underscore DTA will export the my data file into a stata file so write underscore dt that is also done then the next one is if you want to export as a text file i can go to write dot tables right so you do that you get a text file okay that's but not the least is we writing it as a json file and as a database file so you use the right underscore json and you use the dba write table i have to first connect it connect it to sqlite yeah, before we'll be able to work it out all right so i've connected it for my class then do the right so now i have to disconnect it right i've disconnected it so now let's go to my folder and go and check all the files that we've written okay So these are them. We have the DTA file, JSON file, CSV file, text, Microsoft Excel. See them. All right. So these are them. Okay. We've been able to do the job. So what we can do now is just to import them back. Okay. So let's import all of them back. We do the same for the SPSS file. So my data underscore SPSS. But with this time, I'm going to do use the read underscore sav read underscore sav and from there we move on to talk about the stata file so we are going to use the read underscore dta function read underscore dta function 
So always you write your function, bracket open and close, the name of the full, uh, the file you are working with. So this time I'm working with my data.dta, which should be in a quotation mark. Remember, it should be in a quotation mark because uh, if you want R to read something as a character, then that thing should be in a quotation mark, okay? That is the main reason. All right, then text, text, text. So if it's text, you say read dot table, my data dot tst. Comma hot. This is tab separated, and we are saying it has headers. Okay, it has headers. Then we have the JSON file. From JSON. Remember, I said the JSON, the code is supposed to be what? In capital JSON. Okay. JSON. So that is also done. Lastly, always when you want to work with a database, I first have to connect to SQLite database, right? So SQLite database, we do the connection. Then from doing the connection, we read it. Okay. Then we disconnect. So what have you we, been able to do? We've been able to import. First, we did importation for one. Then the X um, the we used the CSV file. Then we exported the CSV file into into the various versions: Excel, SPSS, Data, Text, JSON, the database. And after that, we've been able to import all of them back into our r so you can check you can see from here that all the variables all the observation are the same and the number of variables are also the same it means that we didn't lose anything it was just the same thank you very much for watching the video if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section this is buff core research consult if you have anything to ask to you can email us and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you very much for your time.